One of the technologies is ultrasound. Uh, it's been around for quite a while now. Uh, now it's improved and, and developed and, and we're pretty far along with what they can do with ultrasound these days. If you're going to buy a bull, you're likely never going to necessarily see the ultrasound information. If I had it my way, you would never see it. You wouldn't see it as ultrasound data. Where would you see it as? Carcass EPDs. That's what we ultimately want to get to is trying to, this is supposed to be a tool that is going to enhance our EPDs so that we have a better uh, tool there. They made it much easier to, today. Now all they're doing is doing a depth. They're looking at depth because it's pretty, the uniformity and the length of that ribeye is, is, is pretty much there. So what they're looking at is depth of the ribeye. So that's the skin, then you've got the fat, and then you've got the depth of the ribeye. So there you're starting to see the actual ribs, right? What do you guys think? Any volunteers? 12.56 is the correct answer. So 12.56, so put a check mark by it if you got that one right. So you're, All right. Saying there, you're saying you gotta go from here to the rib. Correct. The longer that Correct. is, the bigger that eye is. Right, more depth right there, correct. Yep. All right, number, question number two. Which steer has the most fat over the rib eye? It looks like that one. According to our professional technician, it's this one. So 1254, uh, according to the professional technician. Who got three right? All right, we got one, two, three. Are those the three in contention here? This is the man, 4399. 4399. Total weight of the four steers as of yesterday.